Alrighty guys, so Brandon's here. Yo. And most of you don't didn't know. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> most of you didn't know, but he had a 2015 F1 2016 F150. But he never liked it. <laughs> well, you know what? It was I needed a full size. Yeah. Because I wanted to start towing the lifted one. Yeah. You know, going places and not yeah. having to drive it home, right? Yeah. I look forever for a 96 prior. Yeah. They're, they're non-existent for a decent price. For, and the ones yeah. that are a decent price are rotted are to shit. Are rotted they're to gone. shit. They're done. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. not worth it, right? Yeah. So I started looking at... I didn't... I the knew last... I, sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Last of the good trucks ended in 96. Right? The well, last of the good trucks, right? For the, well, the 250s went on. Yeah, the 250s kept on with the good front end and yeah. everything. Um, but anyway, so I started looking at 2012 to 14 because uh, 2011 was the first year for the reintroduction of the 5 liter. Yeah. I yeah. didn't want a, tr a Triton motor. Yeah. Right? So I started looking there. And uh, Oak Ridge Ford had a 2014 used in stock. I went and had a look at it and was missing some options that I really, really wanted. Yeah. So I decided to pass on it. They gave me a call a couple days later. Hey, we'll give you a new one with those options for the same price. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I was like, all right, fine. And then I started looking more and more at the different options in the newer, newer trucks. Yeah. And I was going, man, I want getting one. a lot. Yeah. You're getting a lot. Yeah. Mm. So I was able to pull some strings and because <laughs> I work for an auto parts place. Yeah. Highbury Ford spends 10 grand a month with us. Yeah. You get to know the people you get yeah. to, you get to be able to. Yeah. Haggle a bit. Haggle a bit. So, <laughs> some haggling. So we finally traded it in after owning it for... Seven months. Seven months. <laughs> and he got what he wanted. Now this... All except the color. But I don't... I don't know. I don't mind this color, oh, man. I don't mind this this, color. Is, oh, I actually this like is really sharp. It was my second color. Second color choice. Yeah, this is really sharp. So, this is the 2017. Yeah. And I tell you, the grill on his last truck it was, was just a basic XLT ug and it ugly was as awful. shit. Yep. But so he's got what he wants now. Fuck me, my battery's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this has everything he wants now. Comes with a tonneau, locks with the gate, um, which locks with the remote. Yeah. Um, oh. I can't open it because the door is so close. Oh, he's got a remote start! <laughs> oh, homeless bastard's totally jealous now. <laughs> remote start, yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a little, uh, a little bit small. Awesome. Another. Oh, I locked it. Yeah, you have to lock it to uh, remote start it, though. It won't let your remote start with it unlocked. Oh yeah. You gotta press lock first, which is so That's like weird. the mule. As soon as you just remote start it, everything locks. Yeah. Cool man. So anyway, as we are before, we're before. <laughs> cool lights. Jess is uh Huh? Jess is avoiding the camera. Oh, why? Ew! <laughs> oh, it's even got a light in the... It's for the backup camera. Cool. It's to light up the backup camera. Huh. Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so how's this... How's this new one fit? Remember the last one? Yeah, it fits a lot better. Yeah. The last one was all curled up on this edge. Yeah. Like even from the day I picked it up, I pointed it yeah. out, and they were like, oh, well. Yeah, it's awesome. Bright light. Cool. Yeah. And it has that box link system, which, I mean, they're decent tie-down points. Yeah. But I don't have any of the attachments for it. Yeah. So. You know. Yeah, it is cool that you can put a topper and still have that. I know, I. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Now that just rests up against, it doesn't lock in place. It has right here. Oh yeah. You shove these. Cool. And then it's just undo these things, which I did a little up a little tight last time apparently. There we go. Oh. Yeah. And then you just shove them down and tighten. Well, that's cool. Basically just a kickstand. Yeah. So. And then it has the rubbers on the back for the window. Cool. The only thing that I, the only complaint I have about it is the uh, the holsters for these right here are a little wimpy. Oh, yeah. As in, like if you slam this down too hard, it pops off and goes like that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. This is like plasticky. Yeah. Huh. It's the only complaint I have about it. Yeah. Be twist tying that soon. <laughs> yeah. But you know, and I do have a bed mat on order. Yeah. It was supposed to be in Friday, but it's not. So. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. It does have the step in it. Yeah, I don't know. Do 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 do. Oh. So this is just the step here. Yeah. Uh, kind of spring loaded. Yeah. Definitely. Handy as fuck. Had yeah. it on my last one, and I used the shit out of it. Yeah. Cool. It's good for 350 pounds, I think. Mm hmm. If I'm not mistaken. You are. I'm usually a lot more rough with it than that. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's still not keen on the uh, tubes, the drain tubes. I haven't had any issues with them yet. Yeah. Just to me, you know, if you're yeah. pulling something out, it's something to catch on, you yeah. know? Yeah, no, I hear you. They should definitely have like a... Like something like right inside maybe, you know? It goes down, goes down in. Or even like have a cover to go over the tube, you know what I mean? Yeah. Something that clips on somehow. Yeah. Because yeah, like front, all four corners have the drain tube. But yeah, me, I'd be worried about catching something. Hmm. Eh, we'll see. But the interior is what you mainly traded it in for, ain't it? Pretty much. <laughs> Honestly, it's the same as my last one. It's still this, the Crew Cab 6.5 foot box. Yeah, but right. it's got the options you wanted. Yeah. So, and this can support 400 pounds on it. Yep. Evenly distributed weight, though. Yeah. So, you're probably still good to walk on it. I'd say just keep to the creases. Yeah. To the joints. Yeah. Where it's got the bracing. So... But yeah, last one didn't have the rear slider. Yeah. Power rear slider. And it does have um, defrost, which is kind of new to trucks. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. But. Yeah. And then it does have a flip key. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Volkswagen. Volkswagen yeah. key. Yeah. Ha. And, and it does. Yeah. Remote start. Yep. But the navigation is everything that you wanted. Well, yeah, I mostly wanted the C3. And it's got 110 volt, 400 watt. Yep. I think it's cool because most vehicles are coming with this now. Yeah. You know? And it's got USB down here. Yeah, two USB. I just have a little music. Yeah. Size of the mouse dongle too. It's 32 gig and it's like yeah, tiny, which is perfect. Yeah. Shut this off, but yeah. So it's got your audio, which you can go to sources, and you have your Spotify, your 
Bluetooth from your phone, yeah. CD, Sirius, whatever, right? Yeah. I don't. I don't. Did you get free Sirius with it? Or yeah, no? I got a year, but I won't be renewing because honestly, I don't use it. Yeah. But. So, yeah, and then your phone settings, all your contacts are downloaded. It'll read your text messages. You can view your text messages while you're driving too. Yeah. With the other, with the Sync One. Um, that didn't have the touch screen you couldn't view your text messages like sometimes if people make a spelling mistake when the voice reads it to you yeah. you can't fucking understand it no matter how many <laughs> times no matter how many times you listen to it right <laughs> so at least this one it will display what it actually says for you oh yeah so it's just a quick glance over right yeah. so and then yes it does have the nav yeah. I don't know if it has pinch ability oh it does mm. look at that Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and all of this is voice control too. Yeah. So you can tell it to go anywhere, yeah. right? So it's like Nemo's, especially like uh, one I liked about uh, why well, I showed Nemo mm -hmm. uh, plugging the dongle in, right? Yeah. You just hit the button on the steering wheel yeah. and ask for a song, and it'll play it. Yeah. Like. Well. Please say a command. Play song Sweet Child of Mine. Playing song Sweet yeah. Child of Mine. There it is. Yeah. I won't turn the volume up because copyright. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Another thing I like about the Sync 3 too, this is a very minute thing, but it pissed me off in the last truck, okay? You tell it to play a song. You got it, like, I've got it on all song shuffle. Yeah. Okay, right? You tell it to play a song, yeah. right? In the last truck, you told it to play a song, it would go to that album of that artist, to whatever, and switch to not shuffle and play only that album. Only that album. Yeah. Whereas this one, it just starts the shuffle over again yeah. of all songs. Yeah. So it's like, it's still random, but you get the option to, I just want to listen to this song once. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. So it's small, but it's a huge difference to me. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and then I like the triple screen too. You know, you got your GPS, your what song, yeah, all your phone shit. Yeah, so. and then cool. Still has all the same. Yeah, in between the screen. Trip meter. So, yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, computer stuff. I know the battery's on. Oh, I just shut it off. Hold on. The battery's on. What? Uh, it's giving me a battery symbol for. Me. For the truck being on oh and not started so yeah. so yeah. 1291 kilometers how many of that yours uh, I bought it and it had 600 on it I think because I had to bring it from Quebec yeah so about half of it I know I hated that when I ordered mine <laughs> At 100, 186 kilometers, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But, and I did opt opt for the six passenger. Yeah. And first thing I did was remove the headrest because it's a bitch. It was it. Uh, it's it, it stands right over the cup holder. Oh shit. Yeah, it comes out to like here. Yeah. <laughs> so. And you still got that bracket to put on that box. Yeah, the built right. You get it from Built Right Industries. Yeah. Online. All it is is this. And this. Built right industries. Yeah. Comes with a sticker. I think that's all the pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's all the pieces. But yeah, all it does is basically like this side. Oh, I'll get out here. Oh. As you can see, I always I always travel with the seats up. Yeah. Right? Just cause. Yeah. Right. And uh, this seat is where your jack and everything is. So this seat comes down like this. Yeah. And that's where I keep my toe strap and my gloves and hat. And yeah. Whatever. Right. But this seat does not. Right. And all that bracket does is allow this seat to do this. Oh yeah. Right. But if you actually get in behind here, like the, you got a wrench here. Oh, this one will work right here on the ground. I'll pull that. Okay. 
So all you do oh, is you get, you have this halfway through. Yeah. You reach back here and there's a little pin. I say use a wrench, you can use your fingers, but it's a bitch to get with just your fingers. Yeah. And there's a little pin that you grab somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, like massive room back here. Huge. Well, the leg room is absolutely amazing. Yeah. And there, I mean, obviously there's cup holders back here. Yeah. Storage and everything everywhere. But I really like the color. I know it isn't, it isn't the color he wanted, but I like the color. <laughs> Noise. And he really loves this grill. I do two better than the last one. Size your truck. Oh, it's in my name now. It's amazing. I heard it's on the road and you've been driving it. <laughs> yeah. No? I don't know. I had to worry about it. When you get it finished, we'll do a video of it. Yeah. Cool. Something wrong. I'd have to watch the look up how to do it again. Yeah. I thought I could just grab a pin and pull up. Oh. Cool. Yeah. So they're gonna let you go beefy thirty threes. Oh yeah. They said I could do up to a six inch lift without affecting warranty so long as it's installed at the dealer. At the dealer, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, see, Highbury Ford wouldn't do that last time. Really? Yeah, when I got my truck. Yeah. Huh. Any any uh, modification of suspension yeah. void the warranty. But if I had gotten the truck from uh, Listerville, I think it was. Yeah. There's a Ford dealership in Listerville and Mitchell, I can't remember. Yeah. I could have got my truck through them and got a lift and it would have been warrantied. Yeah. You know? Didn't find out about that till later, but I was pissed. Yeah. No, I don't want to do anything serious to it. No, it needs to be I'm, leveled. <laughs> yeah, no, that's... that's this needs a level. Good two inch on the front. Well, I mean, I've been looking into it a little more and I'm even thinking maybe doing the two and a half and then add a leaf. Yeah. Yeah. Just a two and a half and an out of leaf and 34 yep. is maybe at most. Yeah. At most. So. But I still, I don't want to go a 12 and a half though. I want to st stick to the 11s or so. Yeah. So. Meh. It's just good. Much better tires than the last one too. So this is the forever truck. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's got mirror spotlights too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's got mirror spotlights too. If you're working outside the truck. Oh, yeah. These actually have white LEDs to shine out that way. Yeah. And puddle lights. And what? Puddle lights. <laughs> no. <laughs> it does too. Yeah, look, if I unlock the truck. Yeah. It lights up the ground so you don't step yeah. in a puddle. Yeah. <laughs> but. You wouldn't be able to see down the window. You know, have to open the door. It's like the new Audis and stuff like that. Now it comes factory. Um, you open the door and it's got the light on the bottom that shines down. Oh, it's got plenty of light, even with yeah. the door open. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna put some on the mule, the ones that have that mm. stupid mule symbol. Yeah. <laughs> and this one does have the two-piece center console too. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you lift this seat up, right, and then it does have the storage. Yeah. So. Yeah. More I like it. Yeah. At least it's got chrome. Uh huh. Chrome. 
I like the chrome. Go back to chrome manufacturers. Oh, and it has a trailer too brake much, control too. Yeah, too much plastic. Chrome, chrome bumpers, chrome hooks. Chrome grill. Chrome grill. It needs skull caps though. <laughs> the mirrors are too black plastic. Yeah, yeah. If this just was the top. chrome, it'd be nice. Yeah, just the top. They yeah. do sell full mirror covers, but I think that's a little overboard. Yeah. Just the top needs that little accent to. Yeah. In my opinion. So have you got those mirrors out right now or no, in? No, they're in all the way. Those are in all the way? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You'd think they'd do it like all the way in, yeah. right? Yeah. And then they'd kind of automatically come out when you go to fold the mirror over. Mm -hmm. No, that's all the way out. Yeah. But they only go that yeah. far in. Let's look under the hood. The hood. Dude. <laughs> Ford 302 power. It's right up here. here. No, it's up here. Uh, it's a sideways pull, I believe. Where is it? There it is. Nice. Hmm. At least there's a nice freaking gap for working on mm -hmm. shit instead of tucked right up. Very roomy. Yep. Very, very roomy. Oh, no light. No, no light. They don't expect you to work. I have to work on a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sucks that the alternator is way fucking down there, though. Yeah, but yeah. still pretty easy to get to, I guess. Yeah. You can change that pretty easy. Light. Light. Nope, oh, battery's on the charger. It's full. Cool. Noise. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's a uh, five liter with the six speed, three seven three electronic locking rear end. Yep. So. And I still have the skid plates to install. Oh, yeah. Off the old truck. <laughs> I wasn't paying for it. I know, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the truck he just traded in, the 2015, same truck, um, but he had got all the skid plates with it. <laughs> So, <laughs> the day before I picked this one up, I stole all the skin plates and it took hardware all, off it. Yep. <laughs> so. Now I just got to decide what fucking color to paint them. Oh, did uh, this one have a gas tank skid plate? No. Son of a bitch. It's a good thing I took the other one. Yeah. Well, it was confusing me because the the front plate and the transfer case plate were metal. Yeah. But the gas tank one was plastic, plastic. so I was like, okay, well, is the, is the gas tank one just factory on all of them? Yeah. yeah. Which wouldn't surprise me, right? But yeah. no, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing I took it. I mean, either way, if it did come with it, it would, I would have had a good, good toboggan. <laughs> I know, it looks exactly <laughs> like a toboggan. <laughs> well, fuck, it's a 136 liter fuel tank. Yeah. It's long. Yeah. Yeah, my truck, it was uh, dual tanks, 131 liters. Yeah. But then again, it was only extended cab, so they mm. have to stop the gas tank before the front axle, or the rear yeah. axle, so. Yeah. Well, this is all in one. Yeah. And then, for $89. What? <laughs> the, uh, for $89. I can get a plug and play kit, so no splicing wires or nothing, right? That use these two original push pins for the three little amber LEDs oh, that yeah. the Raptors have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really thinking about it. <laughs> so you're gonna put that light bar on this? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. I was going to put it on, on the this Ranger, or the though. tan truck. I was going to put it on the tan Ranger. 
in between, basically right in between here and here. Yeah. I was going to flush it in. You can get flush one that'll fit in here. Yeah. Just get the little single, the single, single row. Single row, yeah. yeah. Cut this part. Of, oh, no, there's a sensor using this as a mount. Impact sensor. Impact sensor, you know, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. So. Noise. <laughs> you can get to chrome inserts for the bumper here because of where the fog lights are to cover up the plastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's so much extra shit you can get for this thing, which is kind of Accessorize. Cool. The funniest part is you look at the engine bay and the underside of the hood, and that is just duplicular engine. And yeah, oh, I know, eh? <laughs> Like it's like it's literally yeah, the same yeah, thing yeah. that I just painted the valve covers on yeah. that '97. Yep. <laughs> Which is funny. Well, so. Five liter group. Nice. Oh, where's the sticker? Which one? There's no uh, fan belt, serpentine belt sticker. Huh. I wonder where it is. It's yeah. I have one. You'd think it'd have one. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> huh. Nope. You should ask about that. I should, yeah. Say hey. wonder if it's in the user manual. Probably. Or they would know and put it under here. <laughs> but usually it's like right here. Yeah, usually, yeah. Huh. Oh. Found a flaw from Ford. A sticker. <laughs> I wouldn't mind putting a cane and intake on this too. Yeah. Later on down the road. But I like the even the detail of the grounding caps. I know, eh? You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. color matched grounding caps. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, this truck is a, my last truck was a 2016 with the uh, same drivetrain, same cab box. Yeah, everything. Everything, right? Except it was the 300A equipment package and this one is 302A equipment yeah. package. So this is the highest, this is the longest F-150 available with the big V8, the lowest gear ratio, right? Yeah and it has the most equipment in an XLT. Yeah. So it's it's a loaded, loaded XLT. The only thing, there's only one thing I opted out of and that was, well, two things. I opted for the six passenger instead of the flow through console. Yeah. And yeah. I opted out of the sunroof. Yes. Yeah. Like I said, I want to keep it forever and I don't want to deal with a sunroof 20 years later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Having to replace seals and stuff. Yeah, nope. Yeah. Think but. about a shorty antenna too. Mm -hmm. This one I keep rubbing on the tree at home. <laughs> Keeps catching. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. As long as she's the forever truck, yep. you know. Because trading in, trading in, trading in, you're in debt for the rest of your life. No, even my last one I didn't even lease. It was a finance. Yeah. So it's all yeah. finance all the way through. But no, the deal on this one was to. So what's new in the 2018? Whole new front end. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. They made, uh, from what I've seen anyway, right? They made the space in between the headlights bigger, mm -hmm. right? And now the grill flows through all the way to the. Yeah all the way here and it has two bars going well there's six different grill options yeah so there's yeah same as this thing it had crap ton five. yeah yeah so oh. but other than that other than that and some changes in the eco boost supposedly the five liter gets one um one mile per gallon better yeah supposedly and uh I read somewhere that they used a, a thicker gauge steel for the frame on it, Ugh. on the 2018. 
Because they up the towing ratio. Or yeah. The, not not ratio, but the um, capacity. Yeah, towing capacity. So. Cool. But. No, just a leveling kit with an Ava leaf. I think is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. And some grunt on the tires. Yeah. These ones are way better. Like I have a picture of my old truck, right? I don't know. Yeah, that your old truck had like a highway tire. And I love the grill in this one way better. Yeah. Yeah, because that's, that's... Yeah, that's the old one. Yeah, but you can really see a yeah. difference in the tire yeah. that they put on this one. And it's actually a slight bit bigger because the last one had 265s and these are 275s. Mm -hmm. So, And the last one had 17-inch rims and these ones have 18s. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of more sidewall, but I yeah. really didn't like how close the 17 ran to the caliper and the brakes and whatnot. Yeah, especially if you're getting mud in there. Yeah. Leave a little bit well, of even, even with just regular towing. Like, more air, more heat. Less heat, right? Mm hmm I don't know. But, no, the brake pads I bought will still fit this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they went on super sale. Did they go with factory coated rotors? No. No. Just factory. Yeah. Uh. Wait for those to go on sale. <laughs> <laughs> they discontinued a uh, lifetime warranty pad, like just one of their brands, the Akibono ones. Oh yeah. At work, right? And uh, so they're still going to honor the warranty. They're just going to give you a, a different, a different brand, brand, yeah. Right? But because they discontinued the Acubona ones, they put them on super sale to fucking get rid of get them, them yeah. out of stock, right? So for both sets of lifetime warranty with stainless steel hardware, front and rear brake pads, yeah. in total after tax I paid ninety bucks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Cool, man. So this is the twenty seventeen. F-150 XLT with a 5 liter, a real engine, not those 6 bangers, fucking Green flex, turbo. flex fuel, turbo, whatevers. <laughs> and you know who's going to say something about that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cheers guys. <laughs> ah!